to start recording. Alright, yeah, right, guys and gals, welcome back. 2nd of July 2019 already. So we're just looking at Sorrento, I think, or Sorrento, Sorrento, Sorrento um, VR today for my sort of look at the review of it. I'm doing a little slight uh, review. So we're going to do that. was this Neo Tokyo. This is a sort of a stylish game. Um, it's quite polished, but I think they could have put a campaign in it. That's why I think they should have put a campaign. I've heard Sorrento VR was going to have like not a full on port like the PC version, apparently. So um, let's have a look at this game. Um, Alright, let's have a look. Um, this game is made by. Let's have a look. This is on the quest, by the way. So it's S A I R E N T O V R. Let's have a look. This is on the quest. Um, the Untethered is called Untethered Edition or Sorrento Untethered is a new Oculus Quest game based on the PC hit, but I think it's not the PC sort of version. I have no idea about what the version of the PC had compared with the Oculus Quest. This is quite new to me. Uh, so sort of like a ninja style um, game which you go around, slash up people and play in certain rounds. Not slash people up and all that, but you do use you different weapons. You've got your pistols. Uh, which are the, to the side so you can pick those up and uh, it's kind of weird as well when you start picking up the guns on the side sometimes they're a bit laggy uh, at picking them up um, this has actually been out for a few days so I presume they're just going to polish it up hopefully they'll add a campaign with it I don't know if the original had a uh, campaign with it as well um, but it says here like the PC uh, VR version Sorrento Untethered lets you become a cyberpunk ninja, wheedling a katana, guns, throwing knives, and much more. The accelerating fast pace, pace, um, paced pace, gam uh, gameplay, and in-depth loadout system makes for hours of fun. So this is actually a review done by so uh, someone called uh, David Heaney. Well, myself, to be honest, me playing it in the game itself. I've just had a little bit of a go today myself, and I think it's quite cool. Uh, for £11, it's not too bad. I've got this on my Oculus Quest, and I picked up, like, I think it was two days gone, but I've added a little bit, and I'm trying to slice up, like, these um, things. It's like a round-to-round -round base survival mode on it. It's a base, and you can actually run across walls. Look at this. This is actually perfect. But I'm just trying to find out who the, the actual developers are of untethered um i think it feels like more of a japanese style game than anything to be honest all right uh, right let's have a look uh this game sorrento vr is a first person shooter and a free combat virtual reality video game developed by Singapore based Mixed Realms and Swag Soft. The game was released on Steam's Early Access program on December the 21st, 2016, and is slated for full release on the 19th of January 2018. So, this was out last year on Steam. Uh, genre action game mode virtual reality developers Mixed Realms, Swag Soft. Holdings, uh, PTE Limited, Swagsoft, Holdings, PTE Limited as well. Uh, platform, Microsoft Windows, so it's from Microsoft Windows as well. Um, so basically PC. It is very good. I actually kind of enjoying this actually at the moment. I mean, this is probably my third or fourth um, go on it. But I wish there was a sort of like uh, a campaign to this game because this would be quite cool if they had like a story driven game on it. And it like kind of incensed you into it because it's more kind of futuristic. It feels kind of futuristic in a sense. 
it's more uh, to be honest i think this is more like a sort of john wick with swords um or maybe sort of like the matrix where you're running around with guns and jumping off walls and all that kind of stuff there we go i sliced that one and i managed to get closer to one of them that sliced his head off because i do the double chop with the double samurai swords there this is pretty cool i'm actually recording all this um through my obs at the moment so i'm using obs and i have a fight with the sword oh yeah you can actually um sort of bounce the swords off um if you defend yourself you can actually ricochet the actual sword off it which is pretty cool as well uh very good actually i'm enjoying this at the moment but yeah i don't know about the graphics really to be honest um it is the more the immersion of you going in there fighting a bunch of samurai sword uh weekly maniac uh, there's like sort of guns they shoot at you as well and you've got these like weird sort of like um, two sort of daggers on the hand where you just like throw it it's like sort of a round circular swords but two small ones and you just go like like sort of slash like I'm doing here with them but it's not just samurai swords they've just like got different various different weapons there's I think there's a machine pistol as well in it which I actually saw the other day in it and um yeah the boss fights are pretty cool as well you get to the boss fights and you have to dodge and jump and do all these sort of things and some of them have got like rockets um shooting at you they're shooting bloody rockets at you and i'm like what it is crazy but yeah you've got your survival modes um you've got your loadout so you can load out your weapons your guns your ammo and all that kind of stuff and i believe there's a perk system as well where you can make the swords even more damaged you can put like damage resistance sort of things on them so um it's kind of sort of neat the way they've did it but i believe there was a story campaign um on the pc version and i believe they've taken it out of here this is more at the start when you load up the screen you're more in a like a sort of a dojo sort of style uh, room and i think that's quite cool a little dojo because it reminds me of the matrix when neil was taking on morpheus in that dojo arena so I would love at some point if they did that, like a full-on sort of Matrix game where you play as Neo and you're actually in the game and you can dodge all the bullets and stuff like he did in the film, which would be quite cool as well because I love the Matrix films. They're really like sort of mind-bending and all that. Very good adventure films and all that. I call them adventure, but it's more like action-style um, adventure sort of films where they delve you into sort of the computer systems about the computers uh, being programmed and that you become one of the programs in the matrix and that the real world is not actually the real world it's actually the matrix is the real world so it's kind of sort of and then you've got to follow down the um the white rabbit down the hole there we go i slice this woman up like yeah i think that was uh, one of those uh geishas or geishas or whatever ones from japan so yeah it's a sort of a japanese style flavor to it which is pretty cool actually this kind of reminds me of the um ronin uh 47 ronin the one with keanu reeves in it where you got the samurai bloke uh and to be honest i thought we had to get in here to beat this boss up but it finished on this one so i think there's a couple game modes on this at the moment as well there's quite a few but I don't know if they'll be adding maybe a campaign at some point. Similar has just come out um, or whatever. But I think, yeah, I think they've done a good port on it. I haven't checked the other ports on it. So if you guys and girls have got like the Oculus Rift, if you've played it on the Rift, uh, or maybe you played it in Steam, um, let us know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys and girls. Because I like VR. I'm getting more into it now because I've been starting to play that big screen VR and oh my god that big screen vr is just fantastic guys and girls but also yeah do check out guys and girls um my camera uh photography videos as well because i do a lot of pho photography as well i like taking pictures and doing like sort of nature and wildlife also i've been doing slim fast and high proteins and all that kind of stuff going on but yeah here we go watch this, this one there she tries to kill me and i slice her up there we go got her yeah yeah, it's pretty cool. Always cleared. And then it finishes off here. But anyway, 
yeah, it's just a short video. I think I love this game, to be honest. I could be playing on and off. It's more of a, a casual game for me because I'm not going to be playing it all the time. So I'll pop in. The, and there's a level system on here. You've got a level system. You've got uh, how long it takes you to basically kill the characters. You've got your jump kills. Uh, you've got different styles. You've got control, offense, defense. Are you uh, defensive? Are you offensive? Um, you've got your arenas you can choose. You've got your operations. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. And then you've got the options. You've got the challenges. You've got the daily challenges, weekly challenges. I think you've got monthly ones on there. Anyway, guys and girls, cheers for watching. And stay safe all. And I'll see you on the next episode. Um, I'll probably do another little game sort of play video at some point, but um, I'm just on and off just doing other videos at the moment. But hopefully this keeps you um, up to scratch on some of the games at the moment. If there's any more new games that comes out in the future, I'll do a sort of video reviews and a look at the gameplay and see what my um, sort of thing on it. I've got a couple games on the VR at the moment. I've got the Star Wars one, uh, Immortals on the Quest. Because I have I've actually got the um, the quest itself and it's fantastic headset. The only problem is with the big screen, it actually crashes a lot. So yeah, this is just the short videos I'm doing. But yeah, anyway, guys and girls, cheers for watching. Second of July, 2019. This is Anthony Kenneth Bishop signing out. Cheers for watching and stay safe, all, and see you soon.